Hi, hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the uh, SSF Juggernaut progression. I think we're on a mixture of day three and four. Um, just now finally really getting into it, so I am very excited. We are 91, almost 92. I'm going to talk about a little bit of the accomplishments and what we've got done. And then of course I've got a tier 14 map to run for you guys. So we're about, uh, I would say four days, so that's seven days, 7, 14, 21, 28. Somewhere around there, about seven hours a day, so... About day four on the character, um, I'm going to just talk about my gear, then we're going to go ahead and jump into a map. While I'm in the map, we'll talk more about the character. Yeah, let's get started. So, I uh, picked up this weapon literally off the floor, uh, identified uh, burning damage and fire multi and crafted increased fire. Now, to get that increased fire, you do need to do betrayal. Um, betrayal specifically, I like to spec over here at the beginning of my SSF playthroughs. Uh, bribery helps me get a lot of my unveils. In here, I've got Blood Rage, Infernal Cry, Molten Shell. Blood Rage is for the sole purpose of Frenzy Charges. Over here, I have a really poopy helmet. It's pure energy shield base. Literally doesn't even give me armor. Uh, I've got my, what is this, Hex Touch setup? Yeah, so Hex Touch, Frost Blink, Flammability, and then Determination here for the extra plus two. Uh, that plus two kind of makes up for the fact that it's not an armor base, but I really got to get rid of this. This is where my Fire Trap was for a long time. Uh, over here, we have a Saffles Frame still. I actually found a second Saffles Frame. You can tell because it says has Saffles Frame skin. So I actually have a skin Saffles on here. Uh, it's kind of weird, but I only did that so that whenever I double corrupt, I won't forget where my other Saffles is. Uh, over here, I have an amulet that has a shit ton of decks. I anointed Arsonist, and it essentially just has life regen and area damage. Honestly, it's not very good. My build has so many increases right now. I need multipliers and plus gems. Um, we can also kind of guarantee that I have too many increases because I'm using a pyre ring. Uh, so that 65% burn, I'm just basically getting diminishing returns for stacking too much increase, right? Over here on my shield, I also have my faster attacks, life tap, uh, shield charge setup. Then in my boots, which are pure evasion that really need to go, they're basically just for onslaught right now. We have life tap, combustion, trap and mine, and fire trap. The reason I'm not flipping my level 20 fire trap gem is because I don't want to go down to a level 19 gem. Um, I would rather stay with a 20 gem until I have 20, 20 backups. So if I weapon swap here, you can see that I have... Oh, I actually need to evolve this. Go so chat. 21. Let's go YouTube. 21. Okay, unlucky. Anyway, though, you can see here I have like 19 gems. So once these 19 gems ding 20... I will directly replace the 20 version, flip those. All right, um, my belt, I actually have a really interesting studded belt. Uh, it's got life, tri-res. I would prefer life regen, but it has 40 chaos res uh, and determination effect. I found an immortal flesh. I've used two divines. My first divine, I asked for a 333 life regen. It went to 222. So I said, okay, well, I got another divine orb. Surely it cannot go below 222, right? Well, wrong. It went to 209, so I have an almost minimum Immortal Flesh. 76 life, minimum is 75. 209 life regen, minimum is 200. 8.2 mana regen, minimum is 8. Uh, minus 43 fizz, minimum is minus 40. Minus 22 all, the worst outcome would be minus 25. So this is, uh, I could use it. The problem is my Chaos Res, I don't want to lose like 40% Chaos Res because that's that's just very important to me. Uh, but yeah, I evolved it because Studded does not have a good base and we got Determination Effect. That's actually giving us like almost 4,000 armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, over here, I've got some really bad Apothecary Gloves. Again, we're getting hit with those diminishing returns I was talking about. Um, we're crafting with Minion Essence, but in reality, it would be better for me to just put my Fire Trap in plus one gloves. Um, the Minion damage is not super important right now. Um, so yeah. Not very good gloves. A lot of my gear can easily get upgraded. What I need to do, though, is uh, I'm really picky with my loot filter. So I'm currently on my level 1 to 100 filter. And in my SSF, I'm not going to do deep end game because that doesn't really make sense for me. So what I'm going to do is copy this filter and then create an SSF branch. Uh, and I'll label it SSF. And I'll probably be doing that on stream today. All right. With that being said, let's go jump into a map. This is my highest tier. Uh, this is a tier 14. I have cleared one tier 15 by accident it wasn't really an accident is more so just like weird stuff that happened this is going to take a little while to clear um and then of course before i get started let me go ahead and show one more thing a few more so i have a amethyst ring here it's basically just has life decks a little bit of fire and cold and chaos again it's all about that chaos res for me 
Over here in my gloves, we've got Arrogance, Vitality with Purity of Elements and Skitterbot. I cannot run Malevolence until I get a Reduced Mana Reservation Jewel. And then on my body armor, oh boy, the body armor was interesting. So the body armor dropped off a mob, literally just mob dropped a, uh, what is this, Lordy Plate? Yeah, just straight up off the floor. So then I spent 100 crumbs trying to recolor it. Remember that whenever you're trying to recolor something like this, attempt to craft it a little bit first. So for me, it was just basically scour alking, throwing a few chaos, any random essences I found. And once you hit reduced attribute requirements, you stop and then you start trying to chrome it. So the, uh, the goal is getting like blue, blue, green, and then you have three reds. Um, you can also do like, you can do other combinations, but you basically want three off colors that are usable for you. And then you're trying to turn one of your reds into a white socket. And you do that via uh, Betrayal. Now I got super unlucky and was running Betrayal like crazy and Verici never wanted to move the research. So I just said, fuck it and threw another 100 chromes at it and it actually just chromed out perfect. Uh, what I then did is, I think it was either through Ritual or it was through Tuyin, I got Screaming Essences of Envy, which give Chaos Res on a body armor. So I threw one at my body armor, and I got this. Pretty lucky. Not amazing. Very good for where I'm at right now, and we just called it a day. So right now with my character, I'm still low on armor. I want another, like, 15,000 armor to feel a lot more comfortable in red maps, and we can, we can achieve that. With that being said, though, let's get started. Turn this down a little. So uh, I have to be careful on this map. This map has beyond and has minus armor on it. Uh, the character is in like a weak point right now, right? I'm not very strong. I'm I'm just still barely progressing my my atlas essentially. Ooh, rog. Rog's gonna give us some new gear. I'm excited. I have actually opted out to drop Instant Infernal Cry now at level 91. Pretty sure I might go back into it. I'm just not sure yet. I cannot do this yet. We are still just on a regular four link fire trap, so I cannot wait to get some more damage. Gonna be super nice. I know people always ask for tooltip damage, so I'll just show you what I have while mapping. RF is 350k and fire trap is 230k. The fire trap is very weak. Our goal is definitely to be farming tier 14 content today. It looks like I'm able to, which is nice. Uh, the reason for tier 14 content is for the Elder Guardian maps, and along with pushing the influence, um, should be pretty nice. Ooh, ooh, that beyond though? Hmm. I don't know about that, man. We've also done quite a few full Sanctum clears on this character. Um, I've got four Sanctified Relics. Uh, pretty poopy. Really poopy. Extremely poopy. And this one actually gives me some res, so it's not too bad. Sanctum's not nearly as bad as people made it out to be, though, which is interesting. RF is definitely, like, not a strong archetype for Sanctum, but it doesn't mean you can't do it by any means. If you actually, like, do the lead mechanic the way I think you're supposed to, it's not that bad at all. All right, this ritual I'm probably not doing just because extremely high chance of death right now and I'm close to a level. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, monster damage, vulnerability, less block, less armor beyond tier 14. It's very rush rough for the, uh, the lower armor right now, unfortunately, on the character. This is not something I would normally run, but, you know, I wanted to show you guys kind of where the character is. I know oftentimes... Uh, as a guy who plays poe a lot i just naturally kind of have an idea of what i should be running but i know that not everybody else has an idea of of that frame of reference right i think it's important to show content that i am also struggling in um, to show why i am not necessarily farming these types of tier 14 maps yet i really want to get that armor value up i mean orb of scour is actually pretty awesome right now It definitely doesn't help as well that the character at the moment is not stun immune. Uh, I would have to go into Unwavering Stance for stun immunity. It 
watch this Beyond, man. Beyond is still just incredibly tough. I don't understand why it's so much stronger than the base game. At least it feels so much stronger. Oh, no. I just spawned a Beyond boss. Well, hey, if you spawn the boss, that means there's no more Beyond, right? So that's great. I'll actually probably just clear the ritual since I died already. Why not just rip the XP? Um, yeah, that's pretty much the character. I'll talk about my Atlas here in just a minute. Okay, so currently on my Atlas, you can see what I've done. So started off, grabbed my Focus Investigation. I uh, came up, grabbed my Covert Stakeouts. Went up further. Um, I believe from right here, I went across and grabbed my Commissioned Officer with my Shaping Nodes. Uh, I don't remember if I did this first or if I went through here and grabbed this. It's always one or the other. Either way, this is what I do for my early gear. Um, then shaping the skies, blocked some nodes, came up, grabbed stream of consciousness, started expedition as I'm going to start using it to craft some gear, came across here. Realistically, I could have put this and then dropped these two, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Come up here. I did not grab Shrine Nodes right away. I then grabbed Buried Knowledge. Uh, now I'm working towards Intelligence Gathering for Katarina. Um, then I came across and grabbed the rest of the uh, nodes I want for Expedition, which is basically everyone but two, or Gwen. Uh, then I grabbed my Shrine Nodes as I'm now basically much more map focused. Uh, and now I'm getting Intelligence Gathering, and I'm not really sure what else after that. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know how your Righteous Fire progression is going. Uh, and of course, you'll be able to see everything live here on Twitch in about 20 minutes after this video. So take care. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys all tomorrow.